Now here are some benefits, I guess. Hey everyone, it's Andrew here. So options is a popular way to invest for lots of people. And I use the word invest quite loosely here. Anyway, I think it's a good idea to know what's actually happening with binary options because binary options are probably the first option strategy that most noob options investors are introduced to. So let me explain it for you and you can then have enough information to either try it yourself or avoid it. I'll be interested to hear what you think by the end of the video. All right, let's go. Okay, now quickly before I start, there's links below for Interactive Brokers, my brokerage account of choice, and a link for my undervalued e-magazine that I write monthly, tracking a big watch list of stocks with buy prices and fair values. All right, binary options. What is it? Now, a binary option is essentially a bet where you win a fixed amount or you win nothing. It's a binary yes or no outcome. Is it gambling? Kind of. But some gambling games can be cracked open, right? Now, you win if the stock price of the stock is above a certain price at a certain time. Super simple. That's why it's an entry point for a lot of noob options people. Now, what I'm going to explain is how it works in the US. In other markets, it actually can be different. So be really careful that you're not getting into some weird exotic option contract that involves the share price being above a certain price at a certain time, combined with Nick Kyrgios winning Wimbledon. Okay, so let me explain just the US binary options. Okay, so let's say you wake up and after dreaming about money, you ask yourself, hmm, will the price of silver be above $32 at 11.30 a.m. today? I'm sure you ask this question all the time. Now, for some reason, you think it will be. So you buy the binary option. If you didn't think so, well, you would actually sell the binary option. So anyway, let's pretend you bought it because you thought it'd be above $32. So a binary option is always priced somewhere between $0 and $100. And just like stocks, there is a bid and ask price. So the bid price might be $46.50 and the ask price might be over here at $48. Now, if you buy this binary option right now, you will pay $48 plus fees. And if you were wanting to sell the binary option right then, you would be selling it at $46.50. Okay, so $11.30 rolls around and the price is above $32. Woohoo, you win the $100 prize and you made $52, not including the fees. The person on the other side pays you the $52. Now on the other side, if the price was less than $32 at $11.30, well, the option would be worth $0 and you'd lose the money to the seller. So as the buyer, you can win $52 minus the fees or lose $48 minus the fees. But as the seller, you can win only $46.50 minus the fees or lose $52 minus the fees. Now it is a zero sum game, a simple win lose bet with someone else. And the fees are there to facilitate the deal. If you are right a lot, you can make money. And that's the theory. Now remember, if you win, someone else is losing. And if you lose, well, someone is winning. And over time, unless you have some advantage, you will lose because of these fees. Now here are some benefits, I guess. I'll give you my honest opinion at the end of the video. So intraday options provide, like during the day, provide an opportunity for day traders, even in quiet market conditions, to attain an established return if they are correct in choosing the direction of the market over that small time frame. Now, daily options expire at the end of the trading day and are useful for day traders or those looking to hedge other stock, forex or commodity holdings against the day's movements. And there's weekly options that expire at the end of the trading week and are thus traded by swing traders throughout the week and also by day traders. And as the options expire approaches on Friday afternoon, they're moving in and out all the time. So here's kind of what a trade ticket would look like on the NADEX, N-A-D-E-X. This is where you do these binary options. Now, as you can see, there's the bid and the ask and the spread is like $6 or something like that. So this one's not very good, but it's good for the person running this, this, um, this platform because there's a big, big bid and ask spread here. So this is kind of what it looks like. Now you can pause the video to see what the trade ticket looks like and go through it line by line if you like. So after having a look at this trade ticket, it does open up a strategy that, well, it's the only strategy I can think of. So if you can buy the binary option at say $24, 
and somehow maybe on another platform, sell the same bet above $24, then you could arbitrage the option and guarantee to take a little profit. But the big issue here is the fees. Plus, I can imagine a million bots are monitoring all the possible outcomes and going to beat you executing an arbitrage trade like this. Look, I haven't checked because I can't be bothered, but I would be interested to know if I am right. Let me know if you know the answer to this situation. So I think I'll leave it to the TikTok gurus and the day traders to try to influence you otherwise. But this is all kind of stupid in my opinion. It is straight up gambling. I mean, there is no value creation going on here. Even if you take little wins with high odds of success, like $10 wins again and again, well, the odds are eventually going to go against you and the 10% outcome will happen and take the $90 from you. I really can't imagine anyone getting really long-term wealthy doing this. Sure, we all hear the lucky story from someone who got on a hot streak and thought he was God making millions of dollars, but that is not how the statistics I think would play out. In every bell curve, there are outliers. So I really don't think this would work over a long period of time for nearly everybody. And the arbitrage opportunity that I talked about, it just wouldn't exist regularly enough because bots would eat that arbitrage up all day faster than I can click the button. Now, if you do want to get more information on this, go to the website in the description, which will explain how volatility is a factor in determining prices and some other useless information like that. But I do think that article sums things up pretty well. So binary options trading has a low barrier to entry, but just because something is simple doesn't mean it'll be easy to make money with. There is always someone else on the other side of the trade who thinks they're correct and you're wrong. So only trade with capital when you can afford to lose, and trade a demo account to become completely comfortable with how binary options work before trading with any real money. Okay, that was fun for me to investigate. I can kind of see the appeal, but it's too much gambling for me, not my style at all. A sophisticated day trader might implement this in their strategy to hedge, but I don't want to sit on my computer all day trading. And how many billionaire day traders are there? Go on. Tell me three. I can tell you more than three billionaire long-term fundamental investors. Now, before I go, I want to say a quick thanks to Siguru Agustin. Wow, love the name. Need some help pronouncing it. I appreciate your comments and you ask some really great questions. You are a legend. Thanks for staying to the end and I will see you in the next video.